if you appear before a court, any court, magistrate's court, district court, supreme court, um, for a matter and you end up with a conviction, the long-term effects of that conviction can be fairly devastating. Particularly taking into account the type of offence you've appeared on and what the conviction's for, and I'm, and I'm looking at offences of dishonesty, stealing, fraud, or drug offences. You end up with a conviction. Every time you're gonna apply for a job in the next couple of years, there's a good likelihood you're gonna get knocked back because you have that conviction. Every time you wanna take a trip to America, uh, whether it's for work or whether it's um, just for social purposes, you might find that you're going to get turned back at the gates by immigration there because of that conviction. Um, a lot of people don't realise that courts generally in Queensland, uh, particularly if your charges are less serious in nature, will readily accept a submission that no conviction be recorded. You need to put the right submission before the court. It's not a matter of just getting up in front of the magistrate and asking, please, may I not have a conviction. The law says the court's got to look at your economic and the social impact that that conviction will have. And that's why you really need a solicitor to point that out to you and put the right submissions before the court rather than getting up and just saying, pretty please. Get up and say, pretty please, you may dip out. Get up with a lawyer and put the right submissions there. That's going to save you a lot of heartache in the future.